In today's video, we're going to look at creating icon sets with conditional formatting. Icon sets were a nice feature introduced in Excel 2007, and you can create similar effects in Google Sheets using the functions code and if functions with some conditional formatting. So what I mean by icon sets are we have these grades here, and we have these icon sets to highlight the passing or the failure of the grade. So how do we create these icon sets? Well, it's fairly straightforward. I'm just going to remove the conditional formatting and remove the, the formulas behind it. On Google Sheets, you're limited to the keys on your keyboard for entering a character onto the worksheet. So if I enter the function name car, open bracket and enter 10,004, press return, and I get a tick mark if I type in equals car, 10,008, I'll get an X mark. So how do we build up the icon set in here? Well, a simple if statement will do it. So equals if, grade says equals pass, And because it's text, it's in quotes, then comma, then return car 10,008. Otherwise, return car 10,008. First one is 10,004. bracket press return so that's a tick mark because it's pass and if I fill down tick mark because it's a pass and fill down and an X mark because it's a fail there okay so they're working nicely so the last thing I want to add a little bit of color to it so conditional formatting is what I need here so highlight the cells select conditional formatting and if text contains equals car 10,004, then format text color as green, if text contains equals car 10,008, text color is red, save rules, and there we go. Let's have a look at the, another set of icons here. So we've got weather forecasts here and we've got an icon set here as well. So the three car functions we're looking at is 9728 equals car 9729 and equals car 9730. So Again, it's the same principle, you just have an if statement. This one is slightly longer because we've got three scenarios. We need to use a nested if statement. So I'm just going to remove the conditional formatting. So it's equals if the cell equals the word sunny. Then put in car 9728. Then another if statement if C3 equals cloudy, then put car 9729. Otherwise, put car. 9730. Sunny has the sunshine symbol there, sunshine symbol, cloud symbol, umbrella for rain. So we can add a little bit of color here again. So right click, select conditional formatting. Text contains equals char 9728. 
format text as orange for the sun. Text contains equals car 9729. Text color is gray. And probably we can leave the last one as black. Save rules. And there we go. Sunshine, cloudy, and rain. Third example I wanted to look at was a rag status, which is simply red, amber, green. And this actually just uses the one icon, which is just the circle. So I've used I've used the simple symbol 9673, which is just a circle with a surrounding border. And it's up to the conditional formatting then to determine what color the symbol turns. So highlight the symbols first of all. Well, I'm going to remove the conditional formatting. So highlight the cells holding the symbols, then right click, select conditional formatting. This time you select custom formula and it equals C3 colon C7 is less than today. Open bracket, close bracket. And the text formatted as red. Add another rule. Custom formula is equals c3 colon c7 is greater than today open bracket close bracket plus 30 days so 30 days from today is green so that the due date is well is 30 days or more ahead of today's date so it's highlighted as green and then we want to get the amber so it's another custom formula it's equals and because there are two conditions that need to be met C3 colon C7 is greater than or equal to today, open bracket, close bracket, comma, C3 colon C7 is less than or equal to today, open bracket, close bracket, plus 30, and the text color is amber. So what's happening here is if the date is less than today's date, the icon set will automatically highlight as red. If this date is 30 days or more ahead of today's date, the icon set will be green. If these dates is ahead of today's date, but within 30 days of today's date, the icon set will highlight in orange. Or amber. Last one I want to look at is an icon set to highlight movement in percentages. So here we have got positive movements in percentages and we've got a green up arrow. Here we've got a very small movement in percentages. We've got no real significant movement, so an arrow left and an arrow right. And here we have two negative percentages and two red arrows pointing down. So once again this is an embedded if statement with three different options, green, amber and red and we've got conditional formatting meeting these conditions also so we'll just remove the conditional formatting so equals if so if is greater than 0.01 so it's greater than one percent then put in car 9650 otherwise if d4 is less than zero, put in car 9660, down arrow, otherwise car 9664 and ampersand car 654, close bracket. So there's an up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, side arrows, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. Okay, well, let me explain this formula. So I'm saying if the value D4 is greater than 0 0.01, which is essentially greater than 1%, put in car 9650, which is the up arrow. Otherwise, if D4, if the percentage is less than zero so if it's negative then put in car 9660 which is the down arrow 
Otherwise, if it's between those two values, then put in car 9664, which is the left facing arrow. The ampersand symbol just attaches in two text strings, car 9654, which is the right facing arrow, which is what you get here. Let's press return. So the last thing is just have to color code them with some conditional formatting. And the conditional formatting is straightforward. So if the text contains equals car 9650, text color green, add another rule, text contains equals car 9660 for the down arrow, text color is red. And finally, text contains equals car 9654 ampersand car 9664 text color is amber or maybe yellow got my codes the wrong way around there we go. So the yellow doesn't hold up, it doesn't show up very well, so I'm just going to adjust the conditional formatting and change the colour to amber. And that shows up a lot better. I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching.